Hey guys, a lot of you might ask, why don't I have FNM? Why don't I have pre-release? And why don't I hold Pokemon events? Why does my store, why does it, why is it so different from other stores? Uh, your typical local game store will have these events, Showdown Saturdays. And the reason is crime rate is very high where I live. This apartment complex is maybe five or 10 minutes away from my work. I can probably see it from my workplace and it is five to ten minutes away from where I live which is in so it's right between where I live and where I work and this is typical uh, this place gets probably robbed once or twice a day and the only reason they send this type of letter is if they've been robbed more than five times or five times or more in a single day which happened recently on a Monday so let me explain how kind of scary where I live is. The closest mall is Greenpoint Mall. It is also called Gunpoint Mall. Due to everyone having a gun and multiple people being shot. If you're at the Gunpoint Mall at beyond 9 p.m. or 8 p.m., things get pretty dangerous. Even during the daytime, I went noon on a Saturday. I took my intern Eric, my summer intern Eric, and there was like a splatter of blood. There, someone had been shot. Police were there. And it was very nonchalant. It was like, oh, just another shooting. Who cares? And obviously I made a video about the police being beat up. So it's pretty much like the Wild West. Even the police can't protect you because they're the ones getting like MMA choked. And now pastors, like literally two pastors a pastor, and his wife is also a pastor, had to come in. They were looking to buy a home. And then they saw a police officer being beat the crap out of. And they helped and probably saved his life. His vest, you know, the police officer tased the suspect. Didn't affect him. Suspect put the police officer in a MMA choke. And honestly, without the pastors coming, the uh, suspect's family just ran in and started beating a police officer even more. So obviously the police officer was clearly undermanned. Uh, they should have sent more police officers to help him under this dangerous situation. And they live in my neighborhood. Now I've been trying to investigate who they are because I know they live in my neighborhood. That has been confirmed. But my neighborhood, they have decided that it is in our best interest not to tell us who this person is. But again, what do I do? I do data analytics. I do big data and analytics for a living. So I've already figured out who is. I, not who is. Well, yes, I figured out who is based on the address they live in. And it's interesting, right? Because it is um, lots of... At first I saw it was a bunch of squatters. But then I realized they just rent. So here's another... Here's a newsletter telling the community, don't be afraid. We've been robbed five times in one day in broad daylight by five different people. <laughs> I mean, this community has like, what, 200 people? So what, will one in every uh, 40 people get robbed each day, every day? Uh, it is not surprising to me. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I do want to explain why my store, a lot of you will ask, I want to go to your store. I want to go to your store. I want to go to your store. And the answer is no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, one question is, why did I locate my store here if it was so dangerous? And the answer was, I did not know. So I looked at very cheap rent and that was my bad. We are not renewing the lease. I've already said that. I've tried to get out of the lease, but the penalties make it so that we might just well stay uh, until uh, October. So the lease ends on Chris, uh, not Christmas, uh, Halloween, October 31st. And the reason I chose the lease, well, my downtown Houston office is 5,500 for 825 square feet. Parking is 12 to $16 a day, which is actually 15 to 20 minutes away. And during summertime, where it's like 120 degrees, that is not a 15 minutes. By the time you walk to the office, you're sweating. And even if you're wearing a t-shirt and stuff, you're just sweating. Um, and I was like, oh, well, look at this new trendy place. It's, uh, it's uh, ample parking, like so much parking. You could, honestly, 100 people could park there. It's like an empty parking lot behind the, the back of my building. It's a whole building. 
It's like a whole building that I rented for $2,500 for 3,500 square feet. 3,500 square feet is more than four times the size of my downtown office. But, and it is almost one third the price. Uh, okay, one half the price. So I said, wow, numbers look great on a Monday in <laughs> daylight. And then I realized, oh my gosh, like there's so many drunk people because we're developers and we like to stay and hang out late at night, but it's impossible. So that's why we work at my home every Friday because it forces us to take the software, the uh, hardware, the computers, anything, any valuables now go to my home for Friday morning. And if someone left valuables Thursday night, they would be like, okay, that's fine. Because Friday night, there's a lot of drunk people. There's two bars right next to my area and it gets very rowdy. It gets very dangerous. Um, my, the glass in front of my store is always like partially cracked, which is annoying because the alarm system, you have to be very careful because it will always trigger the alarm system. It's pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Uh, maybe like it's been my dream to op own a magic store. And this is 100% my fault. I don't take, I don't blame this on anyone. I just actually, we are working from my home uh, Mondays and Fridays now because of a, the home has been converted into like an office like environment. And we might just like, we might cancel the lease, eat the payment. It depends on the magic store because if we didn't have the quote retail front, we wouldn't, for the magic store, we wouldn't actually need that place. And it is possible in our contract to sublet it. I am a, a lawyer, so I put that in my contract. I put that in every contract. So we can sublet it. Instead of subletting for like 25, maybe we sublet it for like 2,000 and we eat 500 a month, which is okay because then, and it would just work for my home. So we're actually saving about 2,000 a month. Uh, if you kind of, if you eat the cost, right? If you assume the cost is already sunk into the, what it, contractually it is, then you can sublet it. Um, even if you take a small loss on the sublet, which we may or may not do, um, we can just work from my home, which has become, we went to Ikea the other day. We're buying some more anime figures to decorate the uh, home office. The home office is huge. And that's the problem. The problem is I love my home, but the crime rate around it, my home itself is very safe. The home is incredibly safe because there's something called guns and beyond guns, it's just a safe place. Um, it's a very safe. My neighbors are very friendly. Uh, the people who owned this home before me were two lawyers. It's the best, it's the best home you could ever imagine. Uh, at least for me, I love it. I love my home, but the crime rate, like as soon as I step foot out of my neighborhood, the crime rate now increases to five this is a small, small apartment complex. Either the people are robbing each other or something is not correct when there's five, there's five different people being robbed by five different people on a bro in broad daylight on a Monday. That's not, that's not normal and that's not typical. Um, it's not something where someone went trick or treating and then <laughs> robbed. I mean, it's just, uh, and it's not like December, right? Where uh, maybe people are traveling. No, this is just a regular Monday. And this is why I cannot have F&M. This is why my store, you know, I would never put my employees at risk. And I do feel like it is a risk to make anyone stay in my store past 7 p.m. on any night, especially on Friday night. And this is something that I, I, it, I am at fault 100%, hence why I have gone with the option of opening my home, which everyone loves because home, there's food, there's cooking. We even have an Ikea bed that the employees wanted if they want to take naps. We have a bed in the exercise room. It doesn't even make sense why we need exercise room because we're all members of the same gym, which is like across the street. But anyway, they went in an exercise room because one of our clients had one and they thought it was pretty cool. So we have a exercise room, we have a bed room, we have uh, a place for them to shower if they wanted to for whatever reason. Uh, they wanted to buy shower curtains and so I, they're never gonna use it. 
They're just doing this to buy stuff. I'm almost certain this is what they're doing. Um, but anyway, we have a beautiful uh, war conference table upstairs. I mean, it is just gorgeous. I think I've shown you, I haven't shown you my home recently. It has changed a lot, uh, a lot. And I'm slowly moving inventory from the physical store to my home office. And I have actually listed the <laughs> office space for rent. So uh, I'll still be liable if I don't get payment. So it's re going to be really weird. I'm going to get payment from person A. P person A will pay me. Then I pay my landlord and that will be it. And the utilities and stuff will still be under my name. But person A will pay me for that. So it's a not a bad place. It's actually on the main street of the town I live in. So it's, we're not talking about like the worst part of the city. We're talking about I'm located six blocks away from the police department. I'm locating five blocks away from City Hall. Well, my City Hall quote. And people are really friendly. I like the people, but at nighttime, I don't know what happens at nighttime. It's just like, you know, if you watch some, um, if you watch that Disney character with those stone people, I used to watch it, gargles, gargles, and they wake up at night. But instead of protecting crime, like in the Disney, they commit crime. That's how I view my city. <laughs> it's at nighttime, all these stone statues wake up and now they're robbing people and, you know, I, I mean, the best example I have this, I have another video for you next week of a total epic rant. And I went to a Chase Bank, a Chase Bank, a, the Chase Bank next to my neighborhood. And I went back four times to try to get clean bills for the home ball, which is celebrating Chinese New Year. So I, was, I needed five 100s, five 50s, five 20s, five 10s, five fives, and I would put them in a random envelope. I have five employees. And then I would uh, give them to employees as a bonus from me, not from the company, from me as a thank you. And so I needed fresh bills because giving someone a torn bill or a blood stain bill or a ketchup bill or a smelly bill, it's, that's just not like appropriate, right? That's the whole point of Chinese New Year's of this home ball, this red envelope is to wish you good luck. So you do want clean bills. It took four blanking times and then I just gave up and now we're going to PayPal the money on Tuesday. That's like the summary of where I live. So I know a lot of you want to come see my Magic the Gathering store. And the answer is bring some, you got to protect yourself. So bring some uh, protection of some type. <laughs> Bye, guys.